All right, man. We're going to be on video now, so we have to watch what we're doing, all right? got to watch our P's and Q's. No more peanut munching. No more almond crunching. No more screaming, and definitely no more swearing. All right? Sound good? Are you listening to me? You're not even listening to me, are you? You're not listening to me. We're back. All right, so putting yourself out here like this is a little bit scary. It's a little bit intimidating, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I guess we should start this, huh? What's going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. As you can see, me and Merlin are back on the channel. Uh, I've got a great video. Well, I hope it's a great video uh, for you guys today. It is a PC monster gaming build or a monster gaming pc build whichever you want to call it i don't know what he's doing right now but he's driving me a little bit nuts today um i also have a few tech and things that i was i purchased for the channel a few other techs um that i'm going to show you i'm going to do the pc build first because let's face it who doesn't like to eat their dessert first right i mean yeah and then after that if you guys decide that you want to you know stick around hang out and listen to anything else that i have to say uh basically uh we'll talk about the channel we'll talk about some of the games i plan on playing and then uh, we'll also talk about what's been going on for the last two months or three months i think it's been three months now uh, and why i haven't actually been uploading any content but before i say anything for a few of you guys sent me personal emails as well as you know messages on youtube uh, uh, as well as you know putting comments down into the videos and i'll be honest with you guys it's it was kind of weird at first um just for people to, to to actually act like they care about you when all they've done is they've heard your voice and they've seen your videos uh but at the same time it's very cool you guys gave me the push that i really needed to 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 continue doing this why do you what are you doing what are you doing i don't understand why you gotta be doing this right now but hey get off the shoulder look at the camera they're they're paying attention guys this is merlin merlin this is guys and girls if there is any girls i don't think there is i'm not good looking enough uh so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over some of the tech stuff now you guys probably seen this right here i'm using this as the mic to actually talk to you because let's face it doesn't it drive you guys nuts when people use a camera with a crappy mic and then they scream across the room and it's horrible sounding why not just use the mic that you've got uh and plus i don't really have after this pc build i i kind of don't have any money left so i didn't have any money for a camera so i'm actually using a google pixel phone so i figured why not just use this so the first tech and things that i wanted to show you tech and things that just doesn't sound right uh is this this is a blue yeti now i did a lot of research on a lot of mics and when it comes down to like uh, affordable mics that, that that have really really good sound they pick up really good sound um <laughs> they uh the number one that always came out was uh was the blue yeti and the thing is is i started i started looking at the blue yetis thinking okay i gotta have one of these but one of them really stood out for me and i don't know if you guys can see this you see this color this one stood out for me and not because of the color but because of the name all right this ladies and gentlemen this is the blue yeti midnight blue that's right ladies and gentlemen we actually have the name of the mic in the name of the channel or the name of the channel in the name of the mic either way i had to have it and it's fantastic on top of this this is just a regular pop filter that came with uh the swing arm and it's funny because everybody always tells everybody always says on the forums oh what you need to do is you need to get a 50 dollars knox arm or you need to get a hundred dollar road arm no you don't this is a newer n-e-n-e-e-w-e-r swing arm okay it is literally $13 and it holds the weight of the Blue Yeti. On top of that, it could probably hold two Blue Yetis easily. It it does everything all the other ones do and it's only 13 bucks. Why would you go for something expensive? Ex more expensive doesn't always mean better quality, guys. When it comes down to the Yeti, I hear everybody uh, complaining, oh, it's heavy. Well, yeah, it's heavy. It's good quality. Have good quality things are usually heavy. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the way it is. So yeah, the Blue Yetis are nice. And as you can tell, hopefully my voice sounds pretty good. Um, 
he's preening. He's we're not in a good mood today. He's not in a good mood. I'm not in a good mood. And we've been arguing all morning long. It's been crazy. Uh, OK, so let's get to the main part of this, which is the PC build. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys in a second. OK, guys, here's the brand new PC. And as you can see, it's kind of a monster. Uh, hopefully the reflection in the acrylic uh, covering isn't too bad so you can actually see what's going on. But uh, basically what we're looking at is to start off with the, the case is a Thermaltake P3. Now Thermaltake makes a, P a P5 which is a much bigger case. This is a mid-range fully modular case. Uh, it's an open air design as you can see and fully modular meaning you can do about a hundred different things with it. You can lay it on its back and it'll run that way. Uh, you can stand it up on its side like it is now, and on top of that, you can also mount it on the wall. As for mounting it on the wall, I would highly suggest not doing that, uh, mainly because if your PC is anywhere near as heavy as mine, you're looking at that thing ripping the back panel off, which is basically there for cord, um, for concealing cords uh, in the back of the case. And uh, as you can see, maybe, as you can see, it's got a nice thin, it's got a nice thin, you know, case in the back where you can hide all your cords. That's actually where your hard drive goes and everything else. So uh, I highly suggest if it's a heavy PC not to mount it on the wall because the back plate is kind of thin and it might just rip right off of the wall and you don't want an extremely expensive PC fall into the ground. So let's go ahead and talk about the motherboard. The motherboard is a Gigabyte X99 Designare EX Revision 1.0 motherboard. It's a very nice motherboard. It supports up to four uh, graphics cards. It supports up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. And one of the nice things about, I mean, it's got tons of SATA ports and everything on it, but one of the nice things is, is it also supports uh, Thunderbolt connection. So, you know, you can run through the Thunderbolt. If you don't know what that is, you can run multiple 4K screens through that connection. You can also run multiple PCs uh, to one screen with, you know, with I think one cord is all you really need for the Thunderbolt. So Thunderbolt is pretty sick. Um, it's a pretty sick connection. It's really nice. Uh, so the motherboard is very nice. It's a very great gaming motherboard. As you can see, it lights up. You can change the colors and stuff on it, which really isn't that big of a deal. But that's still kind of a bonus, and it's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? Um, oh, the, the processor, it actually supports up to the 6950K, the i7-6950K processor. Um, that processor is really expensive. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and downgrade one to the, uh, the Intel i7, uh, 6900K. Uh, it's got eight cores, 16 threads, and I think it starts out at 3.2 gigs or 3.5 gigahertz. And you can like a basic overclock on it is 3.6. And then I've seen some people go nuts and get it up to four point, I think 4.0 or something like that. S uh, seriously a nice a nice processor i'm super happy with it so far it's looking you know it's working really great it's i haven't had any problems with it or anything else uh so let's go ahead and talk about the cooling system this is an ekwb uh 240 perform performance liquid cooling system and as you can see it's quite the monster uh i probably overdid it a little bit with this cooling system uh, I'm okay with that though, because <laughs> cooling isn't a bad thing. As you can see, my uh, my 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 tubing style is quite unique and and absolutely horrendous. We're gonna call that modern art right there. Uh, the only way to really make the tubes really nice looking is is to get like the PTG uh, hard tubing or the acrylic hard tubing and do some some of your own tube bend uh, tube bending, or have somebody do it for you. Uh, personally. Uh, I just wanted to get it started and get it going. I didn't want any pretty colors in it because they gunk up the works and everything else. Um, I just wanted to put some distilled water in it and some of that additive to the distilled water and just to get it started. And now I know you guys are freaking out right now looking at those tube connections and saying, hey, those tube connections are kinked, but they're not. It's an optical illusion. What you're actually seeing that looks like a kink is the connection. It's the connection to the pump. So it's not actually kinked. Trust me, I've checked a thousand times because I keep going cross-eyed looking at it thinking they're kinked, but they're not. Uh, this cooling system has a huge reservoir. It's got a great pump. Uh, but here's the thing. It's got two 
EKW Vardar fans that are absolutely massive. They're absolutely massive. And as you can see, they're hardly even moving at all. And that's because of how thick. Look how thick. Look how thick that uh that 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 radiator is isn't that absolutely ridiculous the crazy thing about this is is i just barely turn this on and as you can see the fans are hardly moving it literally takes me 10 minutes of hardcore gameplay on a really system intensive game to get this thing to really uh to have to turn the fans on the 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 radiator is so freaking thick and so big that it actually cools the water down without having to turn on uh, the fans after I, you know, it's sat overnight and hasn't been running. Uh, so definitely, definitely an overdone uh, cooling system, but definitely something that, you know, I'm not going to complain about because it's, you know, better, more cooling is better than less cooling. Uh, I probably could have gone down a couple of steps, but oh well, who cares? Um, let's see. Oh, the I guess I should, I did tell you the processor. Uh, we went over the motherboard. Uh, let's see. Oh, the PSU is the EVG, EVGA Supernova Platinum 1000 watt power source unit. And it's one of those ones where you don't have a ton of cords coming out of the back end because you don't need them. You know, it's the ones where you can actually plug all your cords in so you only have what you absolutely need. As you can see, I need to stick these back in the back there. Uh, I was testing out my graphics, my graphics card because I actually needed a riser graphics card to mount this bad boy. Uh, so let's see hard drive. Uh, I've got a Samsung 850 pro, uh, one terabyte SSD, uh, definitely sexy because this thing boots in literally 11 seconds. Uh, and that's what I'm talking. I'm, I'm not talking about completely or half booting. I'm talking full boot 11 seconds. Uh, very, very nice compared to my old one, which was about five minutes to reboot. I think, uh, I forgot to tell you about the Ram. The RAM is four 16 gig sticks of Dominator Platinum RAM. So there's 64 gig gigabytes in there, uh, and it's four sticks at 16 gigs. Uh, Dominator Platinum, some of the top the, the top RAM out there, definitely nice. Um, as I said before, the, the motherboard can uh, support up to 128 gigs. I figured, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get 64 gigs. If I ever decide to upgrade, then I can upgrade. I'm not going to get a whole bunch of, you know, eight gigs and fill all the slots up. And you're probably wondering why the RAM is separated. The slots are separated. With this motherboard, basically for every two slots of RAM, you get one channel that they share. So I figured, you know what, why not just give them one channel themselves? So that's why I've got them all separated like that. And what you guys are probably actually here for and wondering about is this beast of a graphics card. This is, or I should, let me, let me say it officially. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the NVIDIA GeForce Aorus GTX 1080 Ti. Now, this is one of the top 1080 Ti uh, modeled graphics cards out there as of right now. Now, if you're looking at where this sits on, how nice is this card? Let me put it this way. <clears throat> at the very top, you've got the Titan XP. Just below the Titan XP, you've got the Titan X Pascal. And just below that, you've got the 1080 Ti, uh, NVIDIA 1080 Ti, uh, what is the Founders Edition? And the Founders Edition is the original uh, modeled type of 1080 Ti. This is an aftermarket uh, NVIDIA GeForce Aorus 1080 Ti, and this is the extreme edition. This has 11 gigs of RAM on it, okay? 11 gigs of onboard memory, simply sexy as hell. As you can see, three monstrous fans that are offset to help cooling, uh, and this has been benchmarked to actually perform the same as, if not better than, the, the uh, Titan, uh, X Pascal and the Titan XP. This actually has been shown on certain games to do better than those two, and it has been uh, shown on other games to do just as well. And then, of course, there's other games where it's about five FPS <laughs> slower than both of those. So it's it's a pretty pretty sick card. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's monstrously huge. 
Uh, as you can see in the back, I've got a uh, I've got a, a PCIe uh, 16 riser card back there, uh, and that's what's connecting it. I'm very skeptical about the riser cards because I heard a lot of people have had problems with them with their graphics card and stuff. But as you can see, with as thick as as this monstrous um, radiator is trying to get that card seated in there plus with all the plugs that are in the back i don't know if you can actually see those or not plus the cards that are underneath that are underneath the riser card uh all of the plugs back there like the the, the usb 3.0 and all of that stuff uh this was kind of being a nasty little turd trying to get this mounted so i just decided to go with the riser card on it uh i think i've pretty much gone over everything i don't have a regular hard drive because i don't need one as you can see right there, I've got a WD MyBook. That's a four terabyte encrypted external storage device. Uh, I don't need a hard drive. Anything that I need to store, I can store right there and it's all encrypted and I just didn't need a regular hard drive. So uh, definitely nice. Absolutely love it to death. It's heavy as hell. And like I said, it's just, it's a monstrous PC build. It took me quite a while to do all the research and uh, I purchased the parts myself. Um, I had them shipped here myself, which was an absolute uh, stressful nightmare just because you're always afraid somebody's going to steal it when they stick it on your damn door. You know, they just leave it there. They don't even knock on your door. Um, but I went ahead and built it. I've got to thank my brother. Um, we're going to call him B because I call him B. <laughs> I got to thank my brother for helping me out with it. And uh, it's definitely crazy. It's not sponsored or anything else like that. I purchased it myself. Nobody sponsored me. Um, I just build it on my own. So definitely a, a sexy, sexy monstrous beast. Heavy as hell. Works fantastic. Gets excellent, excellent FPS on every game that I've played. Every game I've pretty much pushed uh, between 80 to 113, I believe, FPS, depending on the game. As you can see, guys, the computer's pretty nice. Um, I've done a lot of testing with it. Uh, you get anywhere from 80 to 120 FPS, depending on the game. Uh, so it's it's pretty nice. Now, unfortunately, Merlin had to go. He had to go to his Pilates class. Uh, and also because he's driving me absolutely nuts. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the games. Um, as you guys know, my very first playthrough was Subnautica. And it didn't go very well because my older computer was kind of not quite up to snuff to be recording as well as as gameplay. Uh, a little bit of lag um, and stuff like that. So I'm bringing back Subnautica right off the bat. Uh, on top of that, I think what we'll also do is I know you guys are asking, is it coming back? Is it coming back? That's what most of you guys are here for. And that's subsistence. Uh, yes, subsistence is coming back. And here's the cool thing. I was able to save our last save. I was able to rescue our last save. So the snow cabin is still there. Uh, everything else is still there. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the first season of that. And then we're going to immediately jump into a second season. I don't know if we're going to do like a hardcore or not uh, because I suck at hardcore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so subsistence is definitely going to be coming back. And for the third one, it's a game that I've always wanted to play. And I've always wanted to do a Let's Play on, which is... Uh, the third game is, 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 I can't remember that arc survival evolved modded Ragnarok, Ra I think Ragnarok map. Yeah. I think I want to do the Ragnarok map. Now you guys probably don't know this, but I haven't played arc since, um, since the, the, the center map came out, which is quite a while ago. Uh, and look, Merlin's back from his Pilates class. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I haven't played arc since the center map. Um, and I've never actually dealt with mods before. So, yeah, we're just going to go head first into the deep end with that. And we're just going to go for it. And maybe you guys can help me. I don't know. I was thinking about playing dark and light. But at the same time, everybody and their dog and their dog's pet chihuahua and their pet dog's pet chihuahua's pet squirrel are playing it. It. it, it I'm getting kind of tired of seeing it all over the place. So I was thinking about playing that, but I was thinking, man, maybe I'll just play it on my own. I don't know if I really want to play it on the channel or not. Uh, yeah. So like I said, everybody and their dogs playing it on top of that streaming. I have set up a Twitch streaming account. I've set up all of the OBS, uh, different screens and stuff for actually playing the game and, you know, taking a break and all of that other stuff. So I've already set all that stuff up. 
uh, streaming is a possibility that I can do now. I'm an, I've and I've actually done some 720 uh, streaming testing. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to be doing some streaming, doing some streaming. And at the end of the week, I'm thinking maybe we'll just do like an an off day, a weird. Maybe I'll just try this game out and show you guys what it's like, or do a review on it, or maybe I'll take a game like uh the long dark one that has a, a a solid following but isn't a huge following or play and play something like that the long dark has a new story mode that's out that's pretty killer now for all of you guys who are wondering what happened to me for the last three months where i've been why i haven't put in, been putting out uh content let me tell you there's one rule that you learn right off the bat with youtube or any other streaming or any other video site and that rule is when your settings are all perfect, when your videos are coming out, you know, in, in awesome high quality and everything's just perfect. All your settings on your game and everything are perfect. Your, your, your PC is playing perfectly. The one rule is other than downloading, installing and playing new games for your channel, you do not make any changes. Now, some of you may have noticed that the last uh, video that I put out was Finding Bigfoot. It started fine. It ran fine. I had a, a file error when it would start up that I had to uh, minimize, but I could still play. Me being kind of a gamer nerd, me being kind of a, a computer nerd, I, I had to fix it. Uh, so I did a couple things on the internet or off of the forums to fix it. One was just to download the file. The other was to update DirectX, which I knew I didn't need to do because I always update DirectX whenever I play a new game that offers DirectX. And... Uh, it broke another game. I was able to play that without the file coming up, the, the Finding Bigfoot, but it broke another game. It broke one other game. Out of all the games that I have, it broke one other game, and it broke the one game that we couldn't have break. The bread and butter of the channel, which was subsistence. For the last three months, I've been working like a dog trying to get subsistence to work on the, on the old PC. Uh, at one point, I even had... Cold Games, the developer of Subsistence, working on it himself, and he couldn't figure it out either. Uh, so, yeah, very frustrating. On top of that, I noticed that my PC kind of hit a wall, and sometimes you'll your PC will hit a wall, and then every and you'll notice every week or every month you'll notice the the severe degradation of your PC's performance, and that's what happened to me. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to compromise and put out crappy videos that are pixelized and, and aren't very good. So I decided, you know what, to heck with it. Uh, it's time to get a new PC. And so that brings us to where we're at today. Um, some of you might be worrying, wondering about him. Subscribers. Merlin. Merlin. Subscribers. No, he was not a phantom in my imagination that was giving me audio problems. He's an actual bird. I got him two years ago. Uh, I got him from a buddy, a buddy's mother-in-law for free um, before thinking she her well, she was, she was moving in with her sister. Her sister wasn't happy that he was coming. She just wanted to find him a good home. And without thinking, I raised my hand and said, I'll take him. And then I went, oh man, these birds live for 80 years. Maybe I should have thought about that first. Anyway, this is Merlin. He's an African gray parrot. Um, and he's my best bud. We have our days. We have our good days, our bad days. Sometimes he yells and screams and and chews me out and swears and rips my hands to pieces. And sometimes, well, I can't really do that either because you're not supposed to do that. So we just we have our days, but it's a it's a give and take relationship. You can't treat a bird like a dog or a cat or anything else. They're completely different. It's like having a kid, but smarter. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we have our days, we have our good days and our bad days. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's my, he's a good buddy of mine and I take him everywhere. I take him through the drive throughs at fast food restaurants and stuff. And people just absolutely love him. They just flock to him. So I figured what I'd do is I'd show this and then to distract from this, I'd show him. Uh, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. I figured you'd get a little bit more of a kick out of him than me. So that's why he's here. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. I know that we've lost, we've lost a lot of subscribers. We've gone up to like, it's funny because it's gone between 92, uh, three, 292 subscribers up to almost 300 and then back down and up and down and up and down. I think people subscribe and they're like, Oh, he hasn't put out a video for the last three months, but my true subscribers are still with us. I want to thank you guys very much for that. Um, I appreciate you very much. I appreciate your support and, you know, sending me messages, finding out what the hell's going on with me. I'm okay. We're back. 
and we're going to start doing some really kick-ass videos with this brand new pc uh so keep gaming keep doing to midnight have a blast we'll see you guys later have a good one bye bye